children and youth are the most dramatically affected by COVID and the lockdown. It's been almost a year since COVID-19 altered our daily lives, with many still struggling with how to cope. But we're now learning more about how children are being impacted at a pivotal moment in their lives. Chris Wilkes is a psychiatrist and professor at the University of Calgary. He says this is due to factors like isolation, a lack of routine from missing regular school and sports activities, and social interaction. Up to, say, 20-30% uh, uh, of uh, children and youth are struggling uh, with anxiety. We are seeing uh, more substance use, more sort of aggressive behaviour um, when they have no other way of regulating themselves. Joel Ruse has a decade of experience working with children and adolescents. He says there has been a major increase in clients who are youths at his practice. And for this group, it could be the foundation for bigger issues to come. Change that damages people turns into trauma in their brains and untreated trauma in brains ultimately leads towards the symptoms of, you know, repeated stress and, and traumatic encounters. This is what PTSD is long term, is, you know, a, a problem in the brain that doesn't get addressed or resolved. Wilk says an increase in domestic violence is also impacting youths. And above all, there are less distractions to life's daily problems. Joel says the government has not stepped up in a meaningful way as the need for help has become crucial. Uh, there is more desire for help than there are resources for help in every sector from public to private to not-for-profit. Experts say there are ways to alleviate this stress by increasing connection virtually, early intervention, and physical and family activities. Also, accessing resources like the kids' help phone and text line or calling 211. Remind people they are loved and valued as part of the family and, and, um, and this will pass, this will Im improve, uh, but this is a difficult time that we have to work together as a family and we will find ways to help get us through. In Calgary, Taylor Broad, City News.